what's happening guys welcome back to another episode of grand theft auto 5 if you're still enjoying the series make sure to smash that like button until you break the screen of your phone and um i'm pretty sure i've heard this before <laughs> but uh last that was heavy are you watching the news i don't have to uh we heard this from last time so michael did a job for lester that turned out to be a job of death I snuck into Life Invader by dressing as a nerd, which of course that makes no sense. Look at me. How would anyone ever assume Michael's a nerd? He looks like a, I don't know, a dad that can kill you. There's no way I look like a nerd, but they, they bought it. I went into Life Invader without an ID, without a card, dressed like a nerd, and uh, don't oh, Amanda. Don't touch me. Oh, you don't have to call to tell me that. <laughs> Not you, the Dieter Sack store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Oh, really? <laughs> She's wealthy, has a wealthy husband, and she tried to shoplift. Okay, we can try and help her or we can refuse. I think I'm gonna have to refuse because you're a skank and you slept with the tennis instructor. Maybe if you slept with like a rival in my business or something so it actually benefited me, but no, you're on your own, Amanda. Yeah, but see, if I help you out, you're never gonna learn. <laughs> Screw you, Michael. The lawyer's fees are coming out of your account. Oh, I don't think so. Baby cakes, that's all on you. You might have to hoe yourself out to pay for them as well. So uh, before my wife interrupted with pointless nonsense, trying to shoplift, really, are you kidding me? I don't even see why Michael married anyone, but point being is that we did a job for Lester by dressing up as a nerd, snuck in Life Invader, and planted a bomb. Yes, a bomb into a prototype phone, and they had a keynote, I called the phone, which was in the demonstration, and I killed the guy! So now, after I've done that job for Lester, hopefully he can help us do a bank robbery and get some cold, hard cash. Because your boy's hard up on luck. I had to come out of retirement for this. Also, I need a better car. This is not gonna cut it. People see this and they assume I'm poor, which I kind of am, but I can't let people know that. I need money so I can buy a better car and look like a baller. So uh, Lester's down here in a warehouse somewhere. Good old Molester Lester hiding in a warehouse. Let's go see what he wants. Okay, here we are. Lester the Molester in a warehouse. Nothing more sus than that. Actually, he just sent me an email. Let's see what that says. Or rather, a text. Now that was Amanda. Okay, uh, email. Is this it? Michael, it might be a good time to start making some moves on the stock market. Here's a link to the, oh, I am not gonna play the stock market. Are you kidding me? Maybe if you're a hacker and you can make little tiny adjustments to your portfolio, but I'm in it for the big money. And the only way to get the big money is to either sell hookers, which is not great, not a great thing at all. That's not in my morals, okay? I don't allow for that. Or I can kill people and rob and steal money, which is right up my alley and I have no trouble at all with that. It, uh, it fits my moral compass. Killing and robbing. Jesus, robbery. Michael, you look like a bum. Put something nice on. Coming from you? That is hysterical. You look like a molester. A molester that has a leg problem of some sort. The sooner you change, the sooner we can find you a score. Wait, get changed into a small, or a small, get changed into a smart outfit at your wardrobe or high-end clothing shop to begin the mission. You've got to be kidding me, seriously? You're boring me, Michael. Just go change. Okay, I realize I'm coming to you for help, but if you don't lose this attitude, fat boy, I'm gonna shove that cane up your ass. You dig? So I guess we have to go change clothing real quick. Wow, I wish I had known that before I drove all the way over here. You know, gas ain't cheap in Los Santos. Actually, I'm only kidding. Gasoline is free because cars don't need gas to drive, which is hilarious. All right, well, let's go back over here to the uh, geek shop and get some geeky clothing. Maybe this time I'll pick up a calculator watch. I hear the chicks really love calculator watches. Nothing is more manly, alpha male, than a calculator watch. The only thing that could best a calculator watch would probably be a Pokemon t-shirt. Pokemon? No, that doesn't work. Maybe SpongeBob? No, SpongeBob rolly shoes. The bitches love them. Okay, so here we are at Michael's house, and uh, unfortunately I would have loved to have gone uh, to the geek shop and picked up a SpongeBob t-shirt and rolly shoes, but that's not exactly what Lester's looking for. I think he wants me to be in a business suit because he, he gets off on it or something, I don't know. Uh, unless he's trying to get me to woo an old lady 
and uh, get her to fall in love with me, and then she gives me all her money before she dies. That might be it. Old ladies are into guys with suits, so that might be his plan. We also have a mission down here, but I'm not gonna do it yet until after we've spoken to Lester. Your boy is in deep shit. I need money. I am broke. I think I have $7,484 to my name, and I'm supposed to be a millionaire living in Los Santos. That ain't right. Your boy needs piles of cold hard cash. So, um, yeah, I can't exactly afford to buy any new clothing, so I need to go and uh, hopefully find something in my wardrobe. No entry? Oh, this is uh, my son's room, Jimmy. Mm. You would not want a black light in this room. There would be male juices all over the place. It's quite disgusting. Wait, what? Press to take a hit from Jimmy's bong? It's been a stressful day. I think I will. <laughs> I wonder why he doesn't actually have his own bong. <laughs> it's not like he has the Mexican mafia after him or anything. No. At least I think he's Mexican, right? Martina or Martinez, whatever his name is. I can't remember. Martin. Oh, you were taking a big hit, my man. Oh, feeling it now, huh? <laughs> I really should smoke more of that stuff. Makes me realize what a great guy I can be. If only I didn't, I didn't lie, and cheat so much. If only I wasn't such an asshole to everyone. Eh, I should go back to therapy. <laughs> feeling good, huh? Feeling real good. I can't believe Michael allows his son to just have a bong in here. Yeah, son, have a bong. Yeah, don't clean your room up. It's a health hazard, but by all means, do what you want. I don't care about you. <laughs> uh, I would probably be the same way if I had a kid, especially someone so pathetic as Jimmy. Okay, um, I think this is Michael's room, right? Nope, okay, that is a dead end. Where the hell is my room? That's Jimmy's room. I can smell his room. That's how bad it is. Okay, I think this is my Michael's room. My wife has a giant portrait of her face above the couch. How self-conceited are you, Amanda? You have a portrait of your face? Are you kidding me? I would probably do the same thing, honestly. Okay, let's change clothing into something that looks more business-like, upper class. Oh, oh yeah. Slate suit, looking good. God damn, I may have a bod, of that of a dad or someone that I was in trouble with the cops and I need help or needed help. Did she seriously just take the fee out of my account? I have $2,484. Amanda, you little skank. You seriously went and tried to shoplift and then you took the money out of my account? I'm broke. I owe some guy like $50 billion for a house that I mistakenly kind of tore down because I thought it was a cheating tennis instructor's house, which makes no sense because a guy teaching tennis could never afford a house in the hills, but I am literally screwed. Maybe I could pay Lester to make my wife disappear without it being traced back to me. Oh dear, my wife died in a paragliding accident. Oh, that's so sad. The body was unrecoverable. Oh, I'm gonna mourn for like five minutes. Okay, let's go see what Lester wants. I guarantee he's gonna be very turned on by my suit. Lester seems like the type of guy that doesn't uh, get much action, so uh, he's probably gonna try and pleasure himself with that cane. What am I talking about? I don't know, let's go see what Lester wants. Okay, here we are. Now listen, Lester, I went all the way across town to change into the suit, and I swear to God, if I went to all that trouble just for you to pleasure yourself to my beautiful bod, I'm gonna be slightly annoyed and then I'll understand because I am a fabulous looking specimen of a human. I'm just so sexy, what can I say? I'm also mad cute. <laughs> no idea what that was. The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. <laughs> what the hell? You good, my man? Hey, listen. He's got a huge wedgie. What do you got? The Holy Grail, the Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin oh. Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see, either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? 
Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, yeah, he went quiet. He's probably dead. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. Okay, do you expect me to go hit a gym store by myself? I'm taking care of numero uno. I am the most important person in my life because I don't love anyone else except myself. Do you think I'm gonna risk it all just for a few million dollars? We need a plan B and C and D and hopefully they all involve someone else dying, okay? By the way, have you ever breathed through your nose? I feel like Lester's a mouth breather. Also, why do you walk like you have a sizable amount of shit in your pants? You need a man diaper, that's what you need. A huge diaper. We're going diaper. to Little Portola. Whatever you say, man child. Mouth breather. If it involves money, I am Your in. FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Oh, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident. The shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Townley. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Hey, Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Wait a minute! Lester, you little perv! He's been spying on me! What? So, oh, that makes sense. So the way Michael faked his own death is that he was, uh, essentially admitted to a fake witness protection program, and this, uh, FIB agent was paid off. Well, I'm paying him off to make it look like I'm dead, that he killed me, and in return, I'm giving this guy a huge sum of money. Huh. I mean, shit, if it works, it works. But listen, Lester, next time you want to spy on me, how about you ask first? Or if you want to spy on my wife, I am down for that. But don't spy on me, okay? I do uh, various things that are embarrassing. I pick up hookers, okay? What can I say? Women don't like me because I'm weird and ugly. No, wait, no, I'm not. I'm beautiful and handsome. Lester's the one that's ugly. In fact, you're bringing me down. You know that, right? Okay, let's get this done. I'm losing major clout just being even seen in a car with you. If you're wondering, guys, this is my uh, son. He has chronic diarrhea, so don't go near the car. Uh, I, don't, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so we have these special gl glasses on. Lester, you little perv. I know you're trying to play the- My God, you really do have a molester's face. Keep your kids away from this guy and your elderly people. Pretty much anyone that's vulnerable to being attacked by a guy that walks like he has a wedgie. He's trying to play it off like these glasses or high-tech equipment he gave me for this one mission. But uh, I know what you use it for. You go into yoga class. Don't even do any yoga, just take pictures of butts. Nasty. Actually, I'm guessing the real reason why we have his pervert glasses on is that I can use them to go into the jewelry store and then case the layout. Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Is that it? Do you also want me to go in and do a strip tease by any chance? Like this guy's totally doing. Oh, my man put some clothing on. He's got a cigarette and a uh, striped bag and he's completely naked. Okay, Los Santos is insane. So, uh... Yeah, I don't ex exactly think it's very stealthy to go into a jewelry store that's got millions of dollars worth of gems and do one of these. Oh my, you've got a lovely ventilation system here. Oh, and your cameras, they're so security-ish and HD, ah. Uh, I'm totally not casing this place for a future robbery, no. 
Why, thank you. I'll only shop here if you have champagne. <laughs> thank you. Yes. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't mind me. I just want to stare Glasses at this. Glasses are live. Shoot away. Very intensely. Yeah. Wow. That is a sexy keypad. I'm just, oh my god, I'm staring at it so hard. Ah, okay, that's their alarm. Uh, can you get me an air vent in one of the cameras? Sure. That's not weird at all. Oh, yes, that's a very nice security camera. I'm just gonna stare at it, and if you if you hear a clicking noise, that's not a camera going off. So, uh, that's the cameras and the alarm, and when you've got a shot of the vents, we're done. Mmm, that's a nice vent. All right, that's the ventilation. Okay, well, that, that was now easy. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Well, I mean, they don't exactly have any security guards here. And that guy is definitely not a security guard. I don't even see a gun. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my <laughs> wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our parents start at 12. All right. Not much? So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. Well. That, uh, seemed totally legitimate. I come in and just stare at everything that's involved in security, and, uh, then I talk How about my affair I'm day. having, openly. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Uh, oh, oh okay. What do you expect Let's me to do? this up, Michael. Alright, listen, Lester. How about you shut your damn fat-ass mouth? What do you expect me to do? Spider-Man my way up to the top of the roof? How the hell? What? What do I do? I guess I could go through the back alley and try and climb up one of the um, fire escapes, but uh, listen, let's Lester, in the up. future. I want to draw attention. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Of course. Let's not draw attention as I stare at their security layout with my eyes. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. Don't worry. I'm. I'm okay. I just have spinal problems. I walk like I'm a 90-year-old man. Well, shit. I don't know what to do. Maybe I go back to Lester's car. My car, excuse me, it's not Lester's. Yeah, that might be it. Unless... No, I don't see any fire escapes around here. All right, Lester, what's your brilliant plan to get up on the roof? Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. Okay, all right, whatever you say, fat ass. You know, you could have gotten a grunt to do all of this work. I'm the brains of the operation. You're the hacker that's a pervert. We just need to hire someone that's willing to do all the dangerous stuff. Like, Look, robbing. there. Construction. Yeah, if and, they're uh, gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. Most importantly, climbing up on the very dangerous roof. All right, let's go. You know, you could do this if you didn't have a bad back. And underwear full of dung. <laughs> so, you keep up with the old crew? You know, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD? Shootout? Maybe just a car crash, right? I'm on the roof! All right, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. Um... Yeah, easier said than done. You, you must remember, I'm a retiree. Anonymous charred remains on the highway? They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Oh, is this it? I think I've been retired for quite a while. Slippers, whiskey... Long naps by the pool. I'm not used to all of this jumping and climbing shit. Okay. 
Is it down there? Shit, I forgot. That's I definitely not it. Satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get oh. a shot from there. Okay, this might be it. Wait, why did I? Oh, of course. I was about to say, why did I need a suit if I was going to hey, be doing all of vents. this climbing? Yeah, but uh. The relay. Can you get any higher? I suppose you can't go into an expensive jewelry store wearing sandals and uh, a t-shirt. <laughs> then again, that's exactly what I would do if I was wealthy. Not give a shit. Okay, can I go over here? Yeah, I think so. Right? Do I go up there? Oh, I do. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Lester, in the future, please hire a grunt for all this hard work. You've got a good vantage. Now use it and get an image of the air system. The air system. That's it. Take the shot and we're finished. Sure, whatever you say, bro. You couldn't have flown a drone up here? You're, you expect me to believe you don't have a drone. All right, then. You're not as uh, cool of a tech hacker guy as I thought you were. That's not that I thought shot. you were cool. You've covered the vents on the roof now. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. <laughs> yeah, it does look a little out of place having a guy in a very expensive tailor-made suit climbing on a roof and breaking his chin as he falls. Again, I'm not used to all this hard work. Woo! You know, after all that exercise, your boy needs a little hydration. Does uh, anybody have some vodka? It's Los Santos, what do you expect? Gotta live that baller lifestyle. What up, fat ass? I did all the grunt work. You happy? Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. Okay, we're going back to the garment factory. An odd place to have a bad guy's headquarters, I'm not gonna lie. So, what did you see? Uh, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. The alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. I don't like this car! I'd start there. Mm. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then. Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. Hey, it's your funeral. Know? One of them, at least. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've died multiple times. Well, I mean, hold up. We're going to try and rope uh, Franklin into this? Franklin is small time. The only thing he's done is uh, boosting cars. Unless there's something I don't know about him. I kind of find it hard to believe you can go from jacking cars in a scam repo business to full-on bank robbery. Or in this case, stealing gems. I don't know about that. Well, then again, I mean, maybe Franklin knows something we don't know. Maybe he's gifted because he can steal cars. I don't know. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't want to leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options. I'm showing you all the angles. That's my area of professional expertise. Making that decisions. is being a pervert. That is your domain, my friend. Here. You know, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. 
The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb and you'll need your uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. We can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical teams, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. Wow. So how do you want to do this? Run into the front door or try to play it smart? Mmm. You know, I'm a guy that likes to do things the loud and violent way. Obviously, my voice is very abrasive, but I think for this one, let's try and be smart. Because last time we went loud and proud, like an idiot, balls to the wall, blew up a vault in a bank, or what I can assume to be a bank, and that ended in a pretty bad uh, situation. <laughs> Everyone got killed, I got shot, and then I had to fake my own death. So let's try and be a little smart about this. Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Hmm. Okay, we can pick our crew. Two guys? Are you serious? This is my choice? <laughs> uh, driving skill, composure, vehicle choice. Ooh. God damn, that's a huge jump. Well, being that I'm playing the story and not GTA Online, money is really not an issue. So, uh, let's pick this guy. Eddie Toe? Driver. He's skilled, he's got good composure, and a great choice of vehicle, so let's do that. Eddie Cho. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy oh. shouldn't make much difference. Okay. Hmm. Norm Richards. Jesus Christ. Nice mustache, my man. Gustavo. Gustavo. <laughs> I <think> Gustavo. <laughs> Gustavo. Um, max health, accuracy, shooting rate. Okay, I don't even care about the guy shooting the gun because I'm gonna be shooting as well, most likely. So let's just pick the guy with the lowest cut. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker, back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. Mmm, this guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Okay, do we care about enthusiasm? Or do we care about skill? I mean, after all, this moron clicked a link in an email that had a virus with tons of porn pop-ups. So, I, I don't think I wanna go with him. Let's go with Paige. Harris, <laughs> good, feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. If this is how you wanna do it, I'll get moving. I mean, it looks good to me. What can go wrong? <laughs> I like how this mastermind criminal has all of his plans laid out perfectly in a garment factory with no security. For a dude that's so worried about being caught, this is, in my opinion, a massive oversight. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Uh, yes. Huh? Good. Good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa. What? My rep don't count for nothing no more. You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Yeah, you do that. Nice ass, by the way. It really compliments your, uh, your jeans. For sure. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't feel safe around this guy. <laughs> I am so weirded out by him. Chasing the jewel store. All right, well, that was uh, a fairly simple plan we had there. Not too bad. Knock the people out, go in while they're uh, incapacitated, and just take what we want. Franklin. Hey, what's well, up? Amateur. Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. 
Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you could put together your own deals. Your own... jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Okay, well, Franklin's in. Hell yeah. The only guy I trust out of pretty much everyone we have picked out is Franklin. Mainly because he is really desperate because he got fired from Simeon, which is kind of my fault, so I feel responsible. And he's also a cool guy, so yeah. Okay, well, we just got done talking to Lester, and uh, is there anything else I can do? I think I could probably go down here to Michael's house and find out what this mission is. Hopefully it involves beating a tennis instructor's ass, but I have a feeling it doesn't. And again, I don't understand why Lester would have his headquarters in a garment factory. I mean, his fingerprints are all over the plan, so assuming the cops got tipped off for whatever reason, maybe he's not paying his employees fairly, they could just walk in there, take his fingerprints off the, uh, the plans, and it's game over. Not a very smart choice, Lester. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to locate that equipment. It's gonna take some time before uh, we're ready to go jewelry shopping. Oh, is that what we're doing? So spend your last few moments of retirement with your family. Well, thank you so much, but you see, I kind of hate my family. They're all pathetic and spoiled, so if I'm gonna spend time with anyone, I think I'll spend it with uh, some drunks at a bar. They're friendlier than my family, and they appreciate when you buy them something, even if it's a cheap drink. Whereas my wife goes and literally shoplifts and then takes the money out of my account to pay her legal fees. Okay, here we are, Michael's house. You know what I just realized? How is it possible that Michael is pulled out of retirement for tearing down a $2.5 million home and uh, he was gonna retire in Los Santos on that money? Uh, listen, I hate to break it to you, but it takes a little bit more than $2.5 million to retire. So yeah, I don't know how you were gonna pull that one off. If 2.5 million means he goes broke and needs to do a job, then how are you even affording to live here? Okay, the mission's called Daddy's Little Girl. This ought to be fun. <laughs> oh, big bowl of chips. Mm. That would be delicious right about now. I'm such a fat ass. Are you one of those hermaphrodites born without genitals? Tricks up our sleeves, huh? Same. Just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. I still You should have got that abortion. You should have done it. One of you guys said that's me. Jimmy! That is not me. I'm not Jimmy. Come on now. The fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing a math for like this, a cop that. <laughs> no way. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you. What the ah! fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. <laughs> no. I just Look at how fat this guy is. Why don't you do something? Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> well, maybe I don't love you, fat ass. I'm sorry. Is he? I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, I think he's crying. Go for walks, play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. <laughs> bike ride then. <laughs> bike ride. You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine. Fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Not the TV, man. Not the TV. We'll take okay, a bike ride maybe this kid this is me a little bitch. And I'll show you just what you want to see. Oh, really? Daddy's boy, living at home. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh. Oh, the day was going well, was it? Uh, what amazing well, plans did you have? Of the house after that boat stunt. Did you uh, plan on, I don't know, 8 o'clock to noon, jerking off, 
and then from noon to 5 p.m. playing video games, and then from 5 p.m. to midnight being drunk, you have no plans. You have no days. You got nothing, fat ass. Everything you own in life is because of me. You want me to hit your dad? Is that what What's you want? What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. Do you know? How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Oh, hell yeah. Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me, but I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way. I hadn't, like seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last 10 years. But that was an extreme fucking situation. And I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. You pathetic, spineless jellyfish. Are you kidding me? I mean, that's on you. You're the one that tried to steal my boat, well, Michael's boat, and sell it for money. I mean, how much money do you need exactly, huh? You just sit in your room all day and play video games. Don't tell me you wanted to sell a boat for porn subscriptions. <laughs> like, what could you have possibly wanted? You steal my money, I mean, obviously, because you went and bought an SUV with exorbitant interest rates. So, I mean, clearly, you are not hard-pressed for money. This kid, man, this kid. If I'm a criminal and I have no morals, I should just take him out somewhere to watch the sunset and then throw him in the ocean to die. Honestly. I mean, it's never too late to get an abortion, right? Even if he's 28 years Here old and stays are, at home. Here we are, bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Cock, cock, cock! What? <laughs> what? Who's just randomly yelling cock out? <laughs> oh! What's hey, up, man? Yo, Give me your fastest bike. Take your pick. Yo, Select thanks. the bike. Mm. Oh, twenty uh, dollars? I'm broke. I should just pull my gun out and borrow the bike Balls. without paying for it. Okay, so I don't think Michael is much of a road bike type guy. The seat gives no, him a wedgie. Not fun. Definitely not into BMX bikes and mountain bikes. You think I'm an idiot? Not really suitable for riding on uh, bumpy roods in here in Los Santos. So let's go with the old school classic one speed bike. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat screen. Oh really? You think that's how that works? I'm gonna buy you a flat screen TV worth thousands of dollars because you beat me in a bike in race. Pier? All right, but if I beat you, you're gonna behave like a human being. Damn it! In this kind of condition, a triathlon would kill you. Hey, listen, you're oh, the one that's got breathing God. problems, fat ass. Up, please let this nightmare be over. <laughs> He's actually out of breath. All right, come on, fat ass. Pass if me up. If you like the beach so much, bury yourself out here. Go on, hey, pass me up, fat ass. Come on. Fitness video games you can play now. <laughs> Into the pier. Here we come. Oh Woo! yeah. I don't. Give me the guy who's got to wipe down your bicycle seat, Jim. I know you're getting tired. Don't you want to stop for a donut break? Careful, Jim. Don't give yourself a hernia. Maybe Twinkies, 12 pack of beer. Hey, hey, get out of the air pocket. <laughs> I'm being hypnotized by your wings Whoa! flapping. He just did a jump. That was very impressive, son, but you wasted a lot of valuable time trying that. <laughs> Oh, he probably had to stop for a donut. Uh, maybe pizza. Whatever gets his, uh, whatever gets his blood going, right? He is hella thick, and not thick in a good way. 
Damn, you know, for an old guy, I've got pretty good cardio. I'm smoking this kid. This was so easy. I mean, I, honestly, it's an unfair race because uh, all he does is sits inside all day and uh, plays video games, eats fast food and jerks off. So his uh, condition is not the best. Oh, and I'm losing health. I think I'm having a mild heart attack. Out of the way, people. I'm trying to beat my fat ass son. He wants me to buy him a new TV and that ain't happening. Oh, careful, Michael. Don't pass out. We've got the race. Not that it matters. If he won, I wasn't gonna buy him anything anyway. What's up? <laughs> Get smoked! <sighs> Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs? This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck! Ah! Dad, wait! <laughs> wait, why do I care what my daughter Shit. does? She's a pathetic loser. No, I mean, actually, why should he care about his daughter? Like, she is so spoiled. She's hanging out with porn producers. You do know getting into porn is like something people do when they need money and they're willing to swallow and stick things into anywhere and down any hole. <laughs> oh, I think Michael's about to die. All right, catch your breath. All right, yeah, I know you're getting older and you're not as agile and young as you once were. But uh, we gotta go stop our daughter from making a serious mistake. Getting into porn is like something you do when you're a failed Hollywood actor. I'm joking, that's definitely not the case. Although, it is Los Santos, you never know. I can't make it into Hollywood. Guess I'll just slurp on some big dicks. Ah. I like how my son referred to my boat as a um, refugee boat or whatever he said it was. He insulted my boat. Oh, I'm sorry, fat ass. Not everyone can afford a multi-million dollar super yacht. As a matter of fact, how the hell can a porn producer afford one of these? Well, if you saw the news, apparently porn does not pay as much money as people thought. Mia Khalifa got paid $12,000, apparently. Not that I know anything about porn, you understand. Never seen it. Never. Dignity. Los Santos. Okay. Michael, you've got to work on your bod, my man. <laughs> You're starting to look like Pillsbury Doughboy. Hey, uh, daughter, you up there? She's up here. With her tramp stamp. <laughs> I, I'm a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. Was what? Your house? Yeah. What? Man, you gotta kill her pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Hey, cool, man. Dude, dude, what are you doing? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> man! Come I like that! What's problem? You're such a <laughs> jerk! You're Come such on. a jerk! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Who's talking to see in my fucking boat? Oh, motherfuckers! Get okay, I found now, the guy that sucks the I'm most dick. Get you alive! Jesus Christ! God damn it! Go! Yeah, he's had a lot down his throat. <laughs> oh! All right, daughter, I'm Shit, officially after disowning us. you. Going to outlet. outlet. Got it. Trace. Wait, these guys are in porno and they're trying to shoot me? Oh God! Look, they're shooting at us. Okay, well they're definitely not doing legal porn. Holy crap! We'll lose them if we keep going this way. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when the TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. God, your voice. Just go, okay, go. It's so annoying. You're going to hit me, you psychos. 
you suckos! I wanna be in porn! And get no money! Looks like this is the way out! Oh my god! Thank god! Oh! Oh, I thought that was one of them! <laughs> Back off, assholes! Why in the hell are they shooting me? Is it that serious? I mean, come sure, on, I. Let us go! I did steal one of your jet skis, but I mean, come on. They're like, what, 10 grand? That's one scammed porno video. Hey, turd buckets! If you kill us, you'll be jailed, and the C Sharp will be impounded! Oh, I did it! They're off fuck, me! Fuck, fuck, I think we lost them. Oh, I'm going to die! Oh, you're gonna die, all right? Cool. You see, it's okay. I'll take you back to gym. Back to gym. Go to the shore. So my wife rented out okay. my house. No, it's not okay. Not at all. Hey, we're alive, aren't we? Those psychos didn't kill you. Psychos? Only you could get me chased out of a party with effing guns. Yeah, huh? Well, maybe you're in the wrong fucking parties. I could not agree more. Um, so my wife rented out my pad to a porno studio. I guarantee they used my bed and my wife. I want a divorce. That's exactly what I want. Give me you, David! Oh shit! Damn it! No! <laughs> you're a danger to yourself and others. God, your voice! No! Mm. You fucking asshole! Ah! Listen, he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV, and he took me to the beach. The beach, with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Oh, I'm so sorry you couldn't take it up the ass for no money. Yeah. Seriously. Michael, why would you even bother having a family? God damn, they're all so spoiled. She's hanging out with drug dealers and porno producers. I think that's it. That was the mission. Well, that was fun. Okay, so Lester just sent us a text. Buckster's Pest Control have some vans in their warehouse in the port of Los Santos. There's security in the port, so go in quiet around the back or hit them hard and fast. Yeah, speaking of things being hit hard and fast, my daughter is pathetic. Truthfully, if I were Michael, I would kick my son and daughter out of the house. Allow them to see what the real world is like. Things aren't just handed to you. You have to work for them. I'm just saying, at some point, we're going to run out of money, and then they're both going to find out that uh, everything isn't handed to you. You have to work for it. And then they're really going to be in for a world of trouble. Jesus Christ. Whatever. My man, Your only thing that goes what's your fucking problem? Dick? Man, Stop shut me. up, bitch! You think because you got some muscles you can stop me from breaking your face in? I don't think so. And you, what you staring at? Keep walking! So I think for now, let's go down here and uh, do one of these missions. We have another Strangers and Freaks mission down here. So uh, yeah, let's go see what that's all about. Because currently, again, I'm broke. I've got a thousand dollars to my name which is not good. Okay, change of plan. Instead of us going and doing a useless side mission, we're actually here to get the van we need for our very stealthy, quiet heist. I think we've learned from previous missions where I died that doing things the loud and bold way sounds badass and awesome, but it usually ends in a lot of death and destruction. So this way we're gonna go in, gas everyone, and then walk in like we own the place and take what we want. But I mean, honestly, if we're gonna do a big job like that, why even bother with a few thousand dollars? Well, a few million dollars. Why not just take the entire jewelry store? I mean, what are they gonna do? They're asleep. Okay, so I think I can just drive right up and take a van, right? Oh, they have a security guard. Steal and deliver a Bug Stars van. Well, uh, okay, that's easier said than done. Do I kill these guys? And I don't have a gun. Fan freaking tastic. Maybe I can go through the back, okay? All right, I don't see a van or an entrance really. Oh wait, actually, here's an open garage. Infested hand towel for planting. Check. Oh, there's a van. Infested so... sheets for planting. 
check. Do I just go in and take it? Pregnant bugs. Check. Pregnant? What? Pregnant bugs? What type of a scam Hydrogen operation is cyanide. this? God forbid we gotta kill some bugs. Check. Oh, I understand. They pretend like people's homes are infested bug by larvae. planting Can't bugs. That stuff. Chizek. Chizek? Did you do? I'm gonna have to kill this guy. Can I knock him out? Some rubbers, just in case. Check. Whoa, I'm whoa, whoa! Ah. Yo, some oh. rubbers, just in case. Chief, not you. Ah. Just in case oh. of what? You are being let's help this beaten guy up. On his way. Oh damn it! Oh shit! You're shit, 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 shit! Tomorrow. Okay, let's just grab this van and go, 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 go! Dial nine one one. This guy's getting in a van. Oh, <laughs> for sure, it's a crime to get in a van. Oh, I'm stealing one? Him. Okay, maybe maybe that's a crime. Just a little bit. Oh, shit. Who put that there? Wait, why would I even need to uh, steal a van? You're telling me Lester doesn't have the resources to fake a van? This is a typical van. Just buy one and stick some logos on there. <laughs> why do I have to risk my neck stealing one? Oh, great. I have to lose the comps? Are you kidding me? Why did he say rubbers check? Do you think it's like a porno? You just go into, um, excuse me, ma'am. I need to spray your house for bugs. Next thing you know, you're naked in the bed. I don't think it works that way. Well, I am gonna drive around for a bit and try and lose the comps and I will be right back. Oh, that took forever. Who knew the comps were so concerned with stolen vans? Not even just any van, a pest control van. There were thousands of police officers on the road over a stupid stolen pest control van. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This must be one valuable van. Mm -hmm. Did, I, did I just run over a cat? Oh no. <laughs> I did. I'm so sorry. Wow, you were a fat cat too. <laughs> sorry. All right, Lester, we got a pest control van. Good, I've got a line on the knockout gas. It's made in some lab on the coast, but two shipments a day come through the city from the northeast, taking it to the airport. All right, I'll see if I can jump one. Okay, well, looks like we're getting everything together we need for a big heist that I'm sure will end in a massive failure. Or at the very least, a huge gunfight. But that's all I've got time for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace out.